Thank you, Joe, for uh, this interview. Pleasure. Uh, uh, first, I want to uh, start with uh, getting to know you as a person. Right. So, where did you start? Grew, where did you grow up? And how it all started? Yeah. Just, okay, well, just I, I was um, I was born in England, and I travelled around a lot uh, when I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my father was in the air force, uh, and uh, I studied art at school. But then, uh, when I was nineteen, I stopped painting altogether. Uh, went and did a degree then went to drama school and was a stage actor in London for my 20s. Um, while I was doing that, I started to enjoy writing. So I started writing screenplays and things like that um, and put the acting to one side. But screenplays take a long time, difficult to make money. And um, so I started doing little chalk drawings to make some money uh, on the side. And, um, and then I was approached to do a picture, uh, a series of pictures in Spain by a company employed to. So I called my uh, friend Max from school, who's a very good artist, and said, um, do you know how to do 3D art? He didn't know, I didn't know. Um, so we, just, thank you very much. So we, um, uh, just having a coffee. Uh, so, we, so we taught ourselves how to do it, uh, and we went on this tour in, in Spain. And then we started small, and then just gradually got bigger. We started by doing it on, in chalk on the ground, but then we soon realized that um, people liked having their pictures taken with the artwork and they wanted to get on the artwork. It's quite interactive as an art form. So um, I think your finger might be in front of it. No, okay. um, so, it's, uh, so we realized that it would be better to do it in paint, but it's very obviously very difficult to get permission to paint onto pavements and sidewalks and things like that. So we started doing them on canvas, um, and it completely opened up a whole new world because we were able to be creating artworks that were fully interactive, that allowed people to jump on them, it, play with them, come up with different poses, and also reuse them as well. And, because it's, as I said, it's difficult to get permission, um, in the very early days, it meant that we could roll out the pictures without getting permission, and then just roll them up very quickly. Um, but now, we, 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 we of course do it properly in the right channels and things like that, so, yeah. Nice. So I didn't really start, so to answer your question, I didn't really start painting mm -hmm. until I was 30. And uh, what inspires you every day? What makes you get up from the bed and do what you do? Um, I just, uh, it sounds like a cliche, but a new challenge. I always want the last picture to be better than the one before. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the latest picture's got to be the best one. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got to come up with something new as well, because it's very easy to, um, to just do the same work over and over again. Um, and although it's quite nice to carry on themes and techniques, it's always good to try and put a new spin on. So uh, a lot of the time, I'll, if, I'm, if I'm working on a project that I know is different, I'll wake up with a spring in my step because it's exciting to be doing something new. It's wonderful. Uh, so what are or what were some of the defining moments in your life? Um, I think when, um, when uh, well, there's some positives and negatives. I, I got married recently, which is lovely. Uh, to an amazing woman called Mel, who's a very talented actress, and you know she's very creative and stuff. So it's obviously very good to be for me to be, you know, with somebody who is so so creative. Um, and then uh, when Max died, uh, my art partner, who he, he died two years ago, that was um, obviously that turned my whole world upside down. And, you know, I was suddenly working on my own. But what was amazing is that um, uh, a lot of Max's friends, who are very good artists, um, they. They stepped in and helped, and and you know got me through that first year with, with you know assisting me. Um, so that was very good. Um, I don't know. I've had loads of defining moments. Really, I have. I have really supportive parents and an amazing sister who's who really encouraged me. You know, they, they haven't been the people who've said get a proper job or you know give up, go and do an office job. You've got to earn some money. They've they've encouraged me all the time. So my family have been. Um, really influential and, and it's just a, a constant number of defining moments every time they say keep going. So. That's nice. Um, so what's your take on talent? Is there anything called artistic talent? Or do you believe in it or is it just practice? I, I think it's practice. I, I, mean, I, I mean I don't know. Um, uh, I say that. I, I don't know if I could, I could probably practice the piano for 20 years and still not be able to play. So I don't know. But I do know that, um, that I, I've only improved um, through just hours and hours and hours of practice. Um, yeah, so uh, I think it's probably a combination, a, a little bit of both. Um, I, 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 it's, yeah, it's a horrible word, talent, isn't it? It makes it sounds a little bit um, smug. I, I think it's a lot of practice, hard work. Okay. Uh, what are some of the biggest learnings that 
you gained through these years? Um, what, what, I, what, I, what I have realized is that um, it's rather than rather than thinking um, somebody saying can you do this and then really working out and going do you know what there are so many things that could go wrong what I've learned is the best thing to do is say yes okay. I can do this okay. and then because that's how it started it somebody said can you do a 3d picture in Spain okay. I didn't know how to do it and I just said yes so I and it made me learn how to do it because I knew that it was possible um, and the same thing happened when I broke the world record for the largest ever piece of street art they said do you want to do this and I said, yeah, absolutely. Is it possible? Yeah. They said, it's November in England and it'll be raining out on the street. Do you think you can do it? Yes. No problem at all. And, and as it turned out, it was really difficult. And you know, for four days, the rain washed all the paint away. And we had to start again and again and again and again and again. But we got there in the end and we, we found solutions. And so um, the biggest learning that this, art, the, the, this the street art which I've carried on into the rest of my life, is that pretty much, apart from things like, you know, I can't physically jump to the moon, but, but most things are possible if you really, if you really go for it. Okay. And uh, what will be some of uh, your advice to the people who are just starting out or kids who, are, who want to be pursuing art in their life? Um, yeah, I would say don't let the negativity in. There, is, there are a lot of people who will tell you that you can't do things or that you shouldn't do that or um, you, know, you, need, you need to focus on what's important. And you know, generally what's important, that's probably what's important to them, not necessarily for you. So I think it's just um, do what you think's right. Don't let anyone um, try and put a downer on it. And, um, and believe in yourself, I guess. Thank you for the wonderful interview. Thank you for spreading happiness and making uh, our life more interesting. I've got the luckiest job in the world. I get to make people smile, so yeah, it's cool. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.